the city of Mombasa during the early morning sahur before a day of fasting in Ramadan. A Muslim family of Arab origin in Mombasa in Kenya on the east coast of Africa. The family gathers to have the sahur meal in preparation for fasting the next day of the holy month of Ramadan. The head of the family is Salman Salim al shaybubi with three of his brothers and his uncle, as well as their wives and children. Their meal is made of meat, rice, vegetable, and fruits. Salman manages a transport firm, which he owns. Although Mbassa has been a well-known stopping point since earliest times, as it is now. Mombasa has always occupied a place of prominence because of its important position on this commercial route. And it is an established historical fact that the Arabs had acquired for themselves many commercial posts along the route since the Christian era. The message of Islam has been spreading across East Africa for hundreds of years now. The Arabs have brought their faith to this most important part of Africa through their continuing trade relations with the region. The old citadel of Mombasa was built by the Portuguese towards the end of the 16th century, who called it Fort Jesus after having plundered Mombasa itself three times during their wars with the Turks and the Shirazis. When Mombasa, however, had fallen to the Portuguese in the year 1539, it remained for them the principal base in East Africa for at least 60 years, during which time they dominated the commercial trade east of the Indian Ocean. The island of Mombasa is a small island, not more than three miles north to south and the same distance east to west. Its original name was Muita, which might have meant the hidden land because of it being situated between a number of shallow water straits. In the background, a wooden boat, built according to the traditional Arab type known to sailors on the coasts of the Arabian Peninsula, and alongside it, a modern one. It is worth mentioning here that the Omanis have played a big part in the history of Mombasa and the coast of East Africa. They also waged many campaigns against the Portuguese in the region, especially in the mid-17th century. The Muazzin calls to prayers on this day of Ramadan, and the Muslims of Mombasa come to pray in this and other mosques. The Imam finishes reading the first surah of the Quran and the whole congregation of Muslims present echo back the word Amen. Islam came to Mombasa as well as various parts of East Africa at a very early time for the Arabs have always had established links with these parts since the earliest days. Many an Arab pioneer has come here, especially from among the Yemenis and from the southern coast of the Arabian Peninsula and Oman. Although the ancient history of Mombasa is not fully known and has never been documented, the Arabs have had contacts with the region since the Christian period. Some historians believe that the Caliph Marwan ibn Abdul Malik the Umayyad had ordered the construction of Mombasa, Pate, Melindi, Zanzibar and Lamu in East Africa. The population of Mombasa is now about 342,000, of which 85,000 are Muslims. The whole population of Kenya is over 15 million, 
of which the Muslims constitute about 15%. To the crowded streets of Mombasa go the worshippers after the prayers. Mombasa is not only the main port of Kenya but also the second important industrial city in the country, second only to Nairobi. Most Muslims of Mombasa speak Arabic or at least understand it. They are mainly Arabs, Swahilis, Baluchis, Somalis and Pakistanis. This bustling modern marketplace brimming with fruit and vegetables, shopping is a leisurely affair. On a Ramadan Friday, the mosque of Shibu in Mombasa is full of Muslims at prayers. Before the prayers, they all sit and read from the Holy Quran, which descended upon the Holy Prophet during the holy month of Ramadan, and the first surah, Al-Alaq, when Allah ordered the Prophet to read. And God said, My prayer and my devotions Life and death are all for God, Lord of the universe. No partner has he. With that I am commanded, and I am the first of the Muslims. Islam stands for one loyalty only, man's loyalty to his God, loyalty to truth and virtue. It establishes the principle that all human beings are equal, and it is unjust to discriminate between them on the basis of color, race, or territory. There is only one valid and universal principle of nobility. All those who are true to God, who fulfill their commandment to truth, who prove trustworthy, who are pious and virtuous and heedful of God, are noble. And those who fail on this criterion are those who fall down. Mankind, we have created you male and female and set you up as nations and tribes so that you may know one another. The noblest among you, in the sight of God, are the most pious and heedful of you. And the mission towards which Islam invites man is to harness all material and human resources for the promotion of virtue, justice and peace. Material progress, yes, but not for the sake of material progress, but for the creation of a noble and serene and just society, and to seek man's salvation in this world and in the hereafter. rises in Mombasa during August and produces an excess of humidity which makes fasting a real test for those of true belief and piety. 
One of the old writers who mentioned Mombasa is the well-known North African traveler Ibn Battuta who spent a night here on his way to Kilwa. He described the people of Mombasa as religious and pious. Their mosques, he wrote, are well constructed and made of wood. The principal street of Mombasa is decorated here with an archway of two elephant tusks. Another magnificent mosque in Mombasa with very beautiful colors and attractive patterns. The time of sunset approaches. The month when religious fervor is its highest in the Muslim world is the month of Ramadan, when fasting is decreed from sunrise till sunset. And by now, the family of Abu Salim is about to get the meal ready. <laughs> Behind the dome, the sun sinks slowly and the hour for breaking the fast gets closer. As they had previously met around the early morning meal, Members of a Shaibubi family now meet again at the breakfast table after a day of fasting lasting more than 15 hours and in severe weather conditions of heat and humidity. They have spent their day going about their normal duties as on ordinary days. Normally in the towns, the day-long fast is opened and closed with a salvo of cannon. While taking breakfast, members of a Shaibubi family discuss the date of the feast and work it out in the Latin calendar. The Arabic spoken by the members of this Muslim family of Arab origin is not unusual on the eastern coast of Africa. The Arabs have been here for centuries and many Arabic words have entered the Swahili language which is considered the official language of Kenya. <laughs> Swahili is one of the Bantu languages, and in addition to Arabic words, it contains Portuguese, Indian, and English words. On Ramadan evenings, Muslim women of Mombasa get together and read from the Holy Quran, sitting in groups in their homes, studying and learning. If in the early times, the relationships between the Arabs and East Africa were on a very small scale, this relationship has become strong and deeply rooted after the advent of Islam. The holy faith has abolished differences and is based on tolerance and understanding amongst all believers.